Welcome everyone, it is John and I'm back with another adventure. And today, on this chilly Tennessee day, I'm at the Indian Cave Resort here in Blaine, Tennessee. Now I've been here a few times, I've done investigations here, and I've even ventured into the legendary cave itself, which they found a, I think it's a 3,000 year old human skeleton in there from you know a long time ago, obviously 3,000 years ago. Stepped in the mud hole. But this place is really cool. I want to kind of come just document the stages of decay as it goes on. I don't know if there's any development going to happen here. Hopefully in the future someone will get this property and redevelop it into something cool. But today we're going to explore. And I'm going to search for something way up on this mountain here. That I've been told about but I've never found. And it's another access to the cave itself. They call it the Potato Cave. So we're going to find it. It has some significant historical significance if i could talk correctly so we're gonna go find it check it out guys so follow me out that way is a trailer that is in advanced stages of disrepair then up on this hill is a house and there's actually another house beyond it uh, we'll check those out momentarily but not now we're gonna go into the actual resort part itself and see what's going on and then we'll work our way up where the supposed potato cave is. And I wanted to come this time of year because I've never really filmed it with the foliage died out. As you can see, there's an extreme amount of kudzu. And in the winter time, you can actually see the buildings a little bit, where in the summer, you can't really see much of anything. This stays so overgrown. It's still pretty overgrown, but like you can tell there's a building here now were there for a long time you couldn't and we're right here on the river let's just take a peek inside here yeah it's much easier to get access into here oh this the roof is collapsed in here so we probably stick to oh yeah that's dangerous um man, everything's just ruined in here That'd have been a cool display at one point. It's just all rotted away now. Another awesome display, mattress. I'm sure people tried living in here at some point. Take a little step in here, not too far. Yeah, you can see the ceilings finally giving way. The roof is caving in. It won't be much longer. You won't be able to access any of it. So, let's move on to the next little, oh, look at that door. That reminds me of uh, Married with Children, I think. Maybe they had more than one little diamond, but they had the diamond on the door for sure. And I'm not 100% sure what this was used for. And I'm not gonna walk in there because it's wood floors and I don't wanna break an ankle, I'm by myself, so. But, I don't know. It looks like it'd been for children. Like it's for definitely shorter people than me. I'm taller, almost taller than the whole building itself. Um, you see the old fence now? I don't know if I've ever seen the old fence. Now here is some more. Yeah, you can really tell more about it now. And I love that tree. This is so cool. And let's check out inside here. Oh, looks like some more interior parts have collapsed. Oh, yeah. They have like some. What's a weird sound? It's just water dripping. Now, I am a little on edge because I did experience a run in with a cougar here once was not fun. Hello? Any old tramps in there? I think we're safe. We'll keep my eyes peeled and it was warmer weather. I don't know that they'd be out this cold, but definitely watch myself. I'm actually meeting a friend here later. Um, 
I don't know what we're, he's wanting to come film and talk about some stuff, but figured we would, I don't know, that's cool. I think that's Cherokee, yeah, that's a Cherokee alphabet right there. How cool is that? Lots of broken glass. It's spooky being somewhere like this by yourself. I don't remember. Last time I was here, Josh and I did an investigation. It looks quite a bit worse now than it did then even. Check out that. It's all still intact there. So pretty. Look at those clothes hanging up there. Now that wasn't there the last time I was here. It's a bit spooky. See, I don't like walking over this because you don't know if there's like, it's covering up a hole in the ground. I think I'll walk around. I think too much about stuff like this, honestly. <laughs> Looks like somebody's been shooting a shotgun at this. That seems a little tiddly bit dangerous to me. And here we go. The old bar and restaurant. There's rumors, I don't know if they're true. I never have found anything to back it up. There was someone murdered in this bar. It's even further in disrepair than the last time I was here. Just people coming here and destroying stuff. Okay, so if you hadn't noticed, this is kind of an old school format here. Uh, I haven't done this in a long time. Like, just came out and explored somewhere by myself. So, I, you know, beginning of the year, new year, fresh start. Talked about this quite a bit this year. Maybe getting a little bit back to the roots, do some more exploring, because that's really was the foundation of this channel is the exploration part of it. And that is my favorite part of it. So um, some more ex exploration this year, more exploring. Don't worry, the paranormal stuff will still be there. Got some new big ideas coming this year in 2022. Um, I'm just super excited about it. And I can't wait to share all this with you guys. So um, we got some cool things here I'm looking at. So let's turn back around. Okay, so looking back, we just come through this way. And I heard a loud crash. I don't know what that was. But now we're over here. I don't quite trust the stairs going up the side of the hill there anymore. But we may we may just walk on up there in a minute. Take a look. Yeah, I'm hearing something back yonder. Don't know what it is. Could be a small animal for all I know. Or a person showed up. That's spooky. Something about this part here, it always, always makes me feel a little weird and wary. There's something about it. I don't know what yet. Might have to investigate that one day. And the little grist mill is falling down. Let's take a look over here. Yeah, the sides of it are falling off. Yeah, the front's about to cave in. How sad is that? A little grist mill, man. The wheel's still intact, but a tree's falling on it now. <laughs> I'm surprised it didn't collapse, that wheel. And honestly, when you look at it, it's spoked. I'm not gonna get too close to it because that tree is heavy and if it comes down, but look, it's got spokes in it like a bicycle wheel. That's crazy. I'm looking up through here. A little bit of blistering wind. There's the back side of the wheel. You can see the tree that has rested up on top of it. I don't want to head to the entrance of the cave right now. I'm definitely not going to go in it. There's been a lot of flooding 
and I'm by myself. <laughs> so we're not gonna take any major risks because I like myself. <laughs> but we're gonna go check it out and see what it looks like inside of it. Okay, here we are. I'm gonna go ahead and say it's kinda a wee bit nerve wracking walking back in here because I think what I'm hearing is just water dripping. But you see that right there? That's a boulder that's fell from the ceiling. So I know there's been some pieces that have fallen down. You hear it tapping, it sounds like either water's dripping right here or there's something in there, creature wise. See, there's some more collapses right there. See, the walls are starting to come down. Right, it's just water dripping. And someone's cut access into here. Um, I don't know if that someone has done that. Oh, sorry. If someone has tore all those rocks out hunting for something, or if it's just collapsed. Which it looks like it's just collapsed off the wall. This goes two and a half miles back. I've been all the way to the end. I'll link the video down below. But really cool. Step back. Oh, somebody might be digging for something, man. I don't know. It's kind of weird. It looks like the access is easier now. And I don't trust these rocks up above my head, so we got them under this right now. It's always the edge, the shelf of the caves that are the most dangerous. So always try to be careful, extra careful. Now, up on the hill somewhere, which not far back in there, there's where you could go up to the top. And there's another cave up on top of this mountain here they call the potato cave. And the cool story is, back during the Trail of Tears, this river was used by the government to transport Native Americans on the Trail of Tears. So this area was part of the Trail of Tears. And of course, this is called the Indian Cave, so it was used by the Cherokee um, for centuries. And they would have lookouts, obviously, down the river, looking out for troops. And they would be able to go into the cave and climb up and escape from the top because the troops had no idea there was another cave up there. And it allowed them a path of ex escape. They could already be on the other side of the mountain, far away from any troops navigating the river. So I just, you know, that's just such a cool piece of history um, that allowed them to be able to escape and, and get away from the persecution they were facing. I'm going to go over here. There's a couple cool things over here I want to show you guys before we go look at some other stuff. So cool because with all the kudzu died out, you can see like this stone wall back here. And all this would have been cleared out and just so... So this is a lovely recreational area to walk around. Had this little wooden bridge you could cross here. And then over here's another entrance to the cave. You can hear it down here. You can hear water coming out down there. And also it comes out over here. This part over here is in a little bit more disrepair, but it's pretty cool. You can already see some of the relics over here. You gotta be careful because this is a bridge that was built here. 
There's a drain tile sticking out, going down. It's hard when you don't trust the ground beneath you anymore. <laughs> but here's another entrance into the cave. Now, a, a cool, interesting piece of history here is in the 80s, they had what was called Rave in a Cave. The cave was abandoned at the time, but some locals decided to have a rave in it. And it turned out to be pretty disastrous. Check that out. As they, um, they planned this rave, they, they had it. There was standoffs, people were shot, and this used to all be a platform here. It was, it turned out to be bloody. The last time I was here, I walked on all this. And all this has collapsed now. And there's something down in there. But over there is like a Ten Commandments plaque. I don't think there's anything really beyond here. I think this is kind of the end of the recreational area that had to do with the Indian Cave Resort. But yeah, I googled the Raven the Cave, Indian Cave. And... Actually, I'll link it down below if I remember. But yeah, you got entrance over here, entrance here. And crazy, man. Crazy. It's, all, it's just awesome. All right, let's get back over here where these houses are. Okay. We're back here. I don't know how stable all this is. Try to go up these a little bit. Not the safest path. What's in here? But we shall see. So far. So good. You can see on top here where that building has collapsed. <sighs> Balance is key. I'm not good at it. <laughs> Get up and skedaddle straight across there as fast as I can. Yeah, I don't like this no railing stuff dropping off here. <laughs> now about trip and fail. Oh, here we go. So here's the other stairs. Over there's the buildings that I went through a while ago. And right there, of course, is the grist mill. Let me just walk this way. Hope that the ground is good and stable. And we'll go on up here. You can see this structure here. Handrails. <laughs> okay. Check that out. It's the path in which we just came. Looking down on all this. 
cave is just on the other side of the hill there. And I'm gonna get up here and see if we can find Potato Cave right now. Okay, I have ventured way up here. You can see the stairs I came up there. I'm my way up to here where I'm at. You can see the buildings. This looks to have been, there used to be cabins up here you could rent. So I'm guessing this is a foundation where I'm at. But hopefully we can safely find the legendary potato cave. There's a lot of electrical wire dragging the ground. I don't know if this is live or not. I want to stay away from it because that could be a bad day for me. If this is live, I don't need the business end of it. So I'm going to go this way. This way doesn't look very accessible anyways. So I'm hoping maybe it's up through here. Who knows where it's at? Like I have no, I just know on top. That's literally all I know. All right, we'll keep pressing on. See if we can find it. Just follow the existing paths up here. Try to find this place. <sighs> I'm out of breath. I'm out of shape. This will get me back. This is one of the reasons I want to get out and start doing this. Let's help get myself back in shape. Hunting for these awesome places. All right, I'll give y'all an update when I find something. All right, I'm up here. Way back down there is where I started. I found what used to be a road. And I'm hoping leads to the actual cave itself. Put those mushrooms down there. Isn't that cool? Look at the colors. Heather would love that. Let's persevere a little bit, push forward, as they might say, and attempt to find this thing, because it's got to be up in here somewhere. Whether I'll find it or not, I don't know, but I'm going to try my best. So we got some wildlife action here. If anyone can tell me what's going on here, let me know. Comment down below. What animal did this? And what were they doing? But... Okay guys, so a little tip. When you're hunting for a cave, the entrances can be hidden pretty well sometimes. Uh, growth and just positioning makes them hard to see. But a little tip, especially if it's a spring fed cave or like a cave with running water in it or open air cave, listen for the sound of like air, like, or water flow, like a weird, like a hollow sound of water or air. I'm not hearing it yet, but you know when we went to the other side of the cave, you can hear the water kind of echoing out of it. You're listening for that, like that sound, like a, like a breath coming from the earth. Um, you're close if you start hearing that, okay? So um, growing up, I have used to explore mountains as a kid and a teenager my whole life. Learned a lot about it. So a little tip when you're trying to find a cave I want to go up to the top here and cross this ridge and see if we have any luck. I'm following the road still. As you see, the road's still going this way. So I'm going to continue to follow it and see what we find. That bird let out a screech. I didn't get it. I was hoping to do it again. I am way up here, guys. That's a steep climb. I'm telling you, it's worth it. Now, I was asking earlier, all this stuff on the ground, if you didn't recognize it down there, I'm sure you avid mountain people know what this is. All these spots on the ground. I'm going to take a breather and Walk out the flatland a little bit and see if I can find any signs of this cave. But I'm gonna have to give up pretty soon because I'm supposed to meet someone here in just a little bit. And I'm a long ways from where I'm supposed to meet them. So we'll put a little bit more into it this time. 
and hopefully won't have to come back up here hunting for it again. This really takes me back. So you can see I'm on a ridge, mountaintop, mountaintop ridge. One of my favorite things to do when I was young is I'd climb up at several of these awesome ridges close to where I live. And I had me a little fort on top of one. It looked a lot like this, but it's kind of over in that spot. There's some cool trees I made a lean to. And I used to go up there and hang out all the time. If I was sneaking anything from my parents, I'd hide it up there. I had a big rock with a nice hole in it that stayed dry. So I'd sneak cigarettes up there and keep them. My parents smoke cigarettes and just be a bad kid, you know. Well, as bad as I got. I wasn't that terrible. But this takes me back to my young days. Really called me a ridge runner. Getting back into this. This is fun. Like mountains get you in good shape. And it's a lot of fun. You never know what you see up here. You know, people used to live on these ridges a long, long time ago. And like, I don't know where it went, but I saw some plants back here. This used to be a homestead up here. 100%. Somebody lived up on this ridge with that view of the river down below. Crazy. I'd love to have this land and build me a house up here. It'd be amazing. What is this rumbling? Oh no. I better get back this way and look a little bit before I head back down the mountain. Okay, so another little tip when you're out in the woods and you're not on like specific trails or anything like that, a good thing to do is if you look, trail goes this way and then there's kind of a path goes this way and then there's this way. So it's easy to get turned around and lost. I've always pride myself on a good sense of direction, but I like to make sure that I don't lose my way. So what I like to do is this. Hang on, let me turn you around. I can go right or left. In this case, I'm gonna go left. So what I wanna do is at the corner of this path and where I come from, I'm going to take and reach up here and grab a sapling. That might be a little big. Let's do this one. And I'm gonna break it pointing towards the direction I came from. I mean, it's not perfect, but uh, at least when I come back this way, coming from that way back this way, and I come up, and I can look for my broken twig, and I'll know not to go straight, I can turn right right here, and it takes me back where I came from. So like when I make a deviation off of a, a direction, I like to do that. Um, Any more with cell phone signal, as long as you got signal in the woods, you can pretty much find your way out, but that's just a good little tidbit in case you're out wandering the woods and it's not on a marked trail. That's a good way to not lose your way. So we'll continue on this way. And you know, people might have better t tips. This is just stuff I've learned growing up. I come from Eastern Kentucky. My whole family was mountain people. So, learned a lot growing up. We used to go gin singing all the time and you just, just run into the raw woods, you know? And you gotta find little, little places where ginseng will grow. And we, anybody else still hunting for hickory chickens? Let me know. Look at that tree. I'm telling you, just the things you see. This path is going back down. It might lead back to where I come from. Because looking at the map, I don't think the potato cave should be this far back. I could be wrong. I think I went too far for it. So I'm hoping this leads all the way down the opposite side of that little ridge coming up that I just walked up. I'm gonna kind of keep going this way. I'm kind of losing faith in it because I'm having to I'm now having to start to work my way back to the car, and I'm hoping I get lucky. If not, then there's plenty of cool stuff to see here, but. I will keep hunting for this. And if anybody is familiar with the potato cave or you know someone who is familiar with it, I'd love to come document it and just take a little peek inside. 
I think it'd be fun. I've heard so many tales about it, and it's such a historical landmark for what happened. And I know we're in the cave that you'd climb up to access it from the main cave. That's why I'm like, but I don't know exactly how big the potato cave is. You know, it could go, I've never heard how big it is. I just know it was above, it was just another cave that set above the Indian cave and they connected together. So technically it would be part of the Indian cave system, but they call it potato cake. <laughs> That's all I can tell you. I'm not seeing any signs of it. Don't think we're going to have luck today, guys. I'll come back soon. We're sitting but like a 30, 45 minute drive from me, so I'll be a regular. You hearing something shuffling in the woods. All these squirrels gather nuts and such. Hope I come across it. If I see it on the way out, guys, I'll I'll be right back. It's mid-January, and look at these trees. They still have dead leaves on them. They hadn't fallen off. Quite a few. Somebody knows why, if it's a certain type of tree or what. Let me know. That's kind of crazy. I've never seen the leaves hanging on in January like that. Okay, still no luck. I'm getting closer back to the resort. Not seeing any signs of it. Honestly, it should be kind of close to where I'm at. But this is a large area. And the things I do know is it is relatively close to the resort because it was on the property and they used it. And it's up here somewhere. Now, there's, I mean, probably close to 50, between 50 and 100 acres of land up here to scour through. So a cave opening, sometimes you won't see it until you're right up on it. You know, they're very elusive sometimes, especially if it's a ground opening. I don't know if it's a face up or if it's just going down into the ground. If it's going down to the ground, I mean, trees could be over it. I could have walked right past it and not seen it. So I don't, there's a lot of unknowns. And, you know, what if it doesn't even exist and it's just a rumor? I don't know. I'm pretty sure it does to many people that went on about it. It looks like I need to be careful because I just saw my hunting stand. So I'm guessing someone hunts this, so I should really be careful up here. I'm not wearing, I don't think it's hunting season. But I could be there. Could be wrong. So I don't want to make anyone mad. That is a good hunting spot. And there's several deer carcass down at the bottom of the hill I saw. Um, it's been harvested. I think hunting season's over, but I'll check that out just to make sure. Honestly, I didn't even think about that. Definitely don't want to come up here and disturb my hunting. So, we'll move on down and explore the rest of the resort area. Okay, so I went in over here. Went all the way up to the top of the ridge and came back down through here. So there's a lot of space in the middle that I haven't done. So I've marked, I've screenshotted and kind of marked where I've combed. So when I come back, I'll know where to look and where not to look. So this might be an extensive process, but now I'm way up here on this hill. I figure out the safest way down off here. There's things a huge bank from here, and I can't see where I'm stepping with all the kudzu in the rest. I'm hoping this way. Oh no, we'll figure it out. Everywhere I go, it's like a big bank drop off, and it's quite a ways down. So, I'll play around a little bit till I find a safe way down. Got a wash pan here. Check out that old house. It's actually just like a storage building. Another house right here. I don't know. I was told the structure of these houses are not very good. I don't know if I'm going to go inside or not. But we're at least going to try to peek in a window or something. Got to, right? Watch me find that potato cave like right here. Might be something if that was it right there and it's just covered up. 
it's not. I think it's just a bunch of, you know, it's not be a spring house. Yeah, I don't think this is a cave entrance. It's like old chicken coop or something. It's seen better days. This bone though. That's a big old bone, man. There's a bone that big. Huh. Whatever. Put down that. Looks like it's probably part of a cow. If I were a betting man. hill see what exploring I can do in these old houses that's something you don't see very often anymore no clothesline post this old dog house over there and this old house here it has definitely seen better days we'll see what it looks like inside a little bit here if I can get over to it see this door here on the ground or Something covering, I don't know. I don't want to step on it because this could, you know, it could be a well, it could be a cellar. You don't want to. Yeah, those floors are terrible. I'm not walking in there. Um, you can't be too careful around these old structures. Yeah, it's completely. This house is a death trap. It's caving in. I'm trying not to lean on it or anything. I'm just going back away because if you look in there, you can see the floor. It's a helium can. It's, it just needs to be demoed. Yes. Go check this other house out over here. There's people who would do it. I'm not one. I just don't want those injuries. Because those injuries are expensive. And there's that house over there. We'll go check it out. Growing up, we had cactuses like this too. We had an old feed tub up there. It'd be for It's a trough. It'd be for pigs or cow, cattle. It's neat. I love seeing old relics like that stuff that, you know, had a, such a purpose back in the day. I come out on this old road here that leads. Sorry, guys. I was a little zoomed in. It leads to the Indian cave. So this looks interesting. If you can see what's going on here. Not much of anything. It's bizarre. I don't know why that's there. Huh. Weird. You never know what that was for. Could have been any old thing. That house is in worse shape than the one we just looked at. Let's go check that trailer out. Right okay. Here. Hearing some shuffling on top of the hill. Here is this. Wow. It is. Not habitable at all. It's crazy. Gotta be careful, these walls are about to collapse. It's about as far as I'm gonna go in here. This is another death trap. All right. Okay. Okay, guys, that's gonna do it for this adventure. Excuse me, I got a little choked up there. Um, had a lot of fun. This is ah, kind of old school, like nothing fancy, no editing, no crazy music, nothing. Just, just me out exploring things I enjoy. I hope you guys enjoyed this too. I hate we didn't find the potato cave, but we are not giving up. We're going to keep trying to find this cave. Um, anyone out there that knows this area or is familiar with where it's at, please let me know. I have no interest in 
defacing it or doing anything to hurt it. I just want to observe the history that took place there. I just appreciate history like that, and I really want to just observe it and document it for myself. So I do appreciate that. Guys, if you like this channel and you want to see bonus exclusive content, early releases, all that good stuff, click the join button down below. It's well worth it if you enjoy what I do. And I appreciate each and every one of you guys for your support and everything you do. And for now, guys, that's going to do it. Y'all have a wonderful day.